Hi and Assalamualaikum Today I want to explain a question from the common gate configuration This question asks you to find Z in and Z out and then calculate A, V and L A, V and L is voltage gain without load and then voltage, voltage gain with load A, V, L and A, V, S if R6 1 kilo ohm in this circuit there is the RL here with 4.7 kilo ohm and then R6 so R6 is 1 kilo ohm the information that are given is IDSS equal to 5 milliampere VP is negative 4 volt Rd equal to 50 kilo ohm. Okay, we go to the first question to find Z in and Z out. Before we derive and calculate both impedance, we have to find IDQ and VGSQ because in this question, both IDQ and VGSQ are not given. Okay. So we need this value. To answer uh, all questions in AC analysis. Okay, because we need AC analysis, we have to find GM. This is the really important GM. And then you have to find uh, the AV that may have GM value inside AV equation. Okay, let's we go to the DC analysis first to get the IDQ and VGSQ. In DC analysis, you have to do first equation is for the device. We are using the Shockley equation. Remember that the Shockley equation is only for J fat and also D MOSFET. Okay, so insert values IDSS and VP here. So we get the equation number one. ID equal to 5 milliampere multiplied with 1 minus VJS divided by negative 4 and squared. Then, the second equation is from the network. It means that you have to do DC analysis uh, on the DC equivalent circuit. So, draw the DC equivalent circuit like this. Okay. Remember that you have this 18 volt for the supply. Okay, then VGSQ is located here. VGSQ. Then I do this loop. For this loop, we get positive VGSQ and plus. IDRS equal to 0 then VGSQ equal to negative IDRS then you insert RS value is uh, 1.2K so it become negative 1.2K RS okay this is equation number 2 insert equation 1 uh, equation 2 into 1 then you have uh, this equation. Okay. Then we uh, expand uh, this equation so that you get final equation is ID equal to 5 milli minus 3 ID plus 450 ID squared. Then transfer ID to the right side. So it become 4 here. Negative 4. Okay, please be careful with this uh, equation and 450 id squared minus 4 id plus 5 milli equal to 0. Then we solve the quadratic equation using this formula. Then, okay, so I get id 1 is 7.39 milli ampere, id 2 is 1.5 milliampere. Then for these two current, 
Okay, you insert for the VGS one, and another one is for VGS two. Okay, for the VGS one, I calculate with the uh, network equation that we have derived at first. So negative IDRS. Then VGS one, I we got negative eight point eight seven volt. And VGS2 is negative 1.8 volt. Okay. Then when we got these two values, compare with the VP. Okay. Compare this value with the VP. It must less than VP value. So these two values, which one is less than the VP? So VGS2 is lesser than VP because it get negative 1.8. Therefore, the VGS2 equal to VGSQ. Okay, this one is VGSQ. So I already wrote here VGSQ equal to negative 1.8 and IDQ is 1.5 milliampere. Then once we get value of the VGSQ, okay, we insert into the GM equation for the JFET, GM equal to 2 IDSS divided by VP multiplied with 1 minus VGS over VP. So, the answer is 1.375 millisiemen. Okay.